of these three versions of this song. Um, uh, the good news is that it's a four chord song no matter what you do. So, uh, so that's cool. Um, so I'll do uh, Gillian first, because she wrote the song. Um, capo at the fifth fret. And the four chords are just A minor, C major, G major, and D major. Over and over again. One bar in each one. Everything is free now. plays in uh, does a finger picking kind of thing right um, so if you know this kind of style um, this might be like immediately apparent what to do um, I'll just give you a quick thing on it okay so I'm gonna use three fingers I'm gonna use my thumb my index and my middle my thumb is pretty much always going to be toggling between the bottom two strings of whichever chord so on the A minor it's gonna be the A and the D it's gonna be going like this same on the C. On the G, I'm going to go between the low E and the D. And then on the D, I'm not exactly sure what you did. Your D can go like that, but your index might get in the way there, so you, 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 you might have to see where you get with it. Okay, so on the A minor, now that middle and the index, think of the middle and index as always being on the B for the middle and on the G for the index. And they're gonna, you know, they're gonna freestyle a little bit. You know, um, generally you can think of them as going in between the thumbs. So, so one way you could do it would just be like, literally like, play alternating an index in the middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, and again the thumb always on the, I mean the index always on the G and the middle on the B. Now I, the pattern is not that straight, it's more like I think maybe there's a middle that happens with the second thumb, so it's like then another thumb, then alternate for the rest of the time, and I'll do the same thing. hear this note like I don't think it's I only hear these notes that's why I was kind of the pattern gets tricky there because if the if the thumb is supposed to be going between the D and the G but the index is playing the G but anyway but you can sort of freestyle it just play around with that getting the thumb going on on all the beats and getting your index and your middle going in between the beats picking if you want to I'll put it in the description all right Courtney Barnett third fret capo although she might have done it the fourth fret when she did it with Phoebe <laughs> um, but uh, either third or fourth fret capo same chords so a minor C G D she plays them a little differently so a minor basically the same she does more uh, more stuff um, uh, a lot of you know little little things so um, uh, like on the A minor sometimes she adds that pinky on the third fret of the high E sometimes she picks up maybe the first finger the C I think she mostly plays this C so this is C with the third fret on the low E string so I'm, I'm using my third finger to play the third fret on the low E string and then my pinky is playing the third fret on the A and on the C you can sometimes do this the second finger and hammer it back on. For the G, I think she often plays this G. So this is like um, second finger on the second fret of the A, third finger on the third fret of the low E, pinky on the third fret of the B. E string is open. And for the D chord, this one, this is like a D over F sharp, add nine. 
So first finger on the second fret of the low E, second finger on the second fret of the G, and either third finger or pinky on the third fret of the B. And then the high E string can be open. So that's all the chords. She plays in this really interesting hybrid strumming, picking finger style thing. kind of strumming along, but you could also just strum it. You know? Um, or you can mess around with the style. You know, think of it as your, your thumb is always going down and your, your index is always swiping up. That's a way to start with that. Um, the other thing I would show you from this one is this riff. So, first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the G. I'm picking the top three strings, the G, the B, and the E. You could strum them. And then whatever you do, take that, you gotta hold it down hard, and slide it up two frets. So go from your first finger being on the first fret of the B to your first finger being on the third fret of the B and go from your second finger being on the second fret of the G to your second finger being on the fourth fret of the G. And that goes back down. And if you can sort of have the strength in the hand to, you can do that all in one strum or pick. So you have to hold, hold it down pretty hard to get that. Right, and then just open. And you can do that as a pull off, And she's going to play it with different chords. So she's going to use D minor, which if you don't know it is first finger on the first fret of the high E, second finger on the second fret of the G, and third finger on the third fret of the B, to F major 7, which is first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the G, third finger on the third fret of the A, and pinky on the third fret of the D. You want the high E, but you don't want the low E. And then you just, if you keep the first finger where it is and move the second, third, and fourth each down a string, you have this kind of C, which we just talked about. And then to this G add nine. So all you do, keep the first finger where it is and actually keep the third finger where it is. And just move to your second finger on the second fret of the A and your pinky on the third fret of the B. It's like a G. Okay. So those are the chords. Um, and she does like a super like... something like a down thumb on the first beat of the measure and then to, you can just fill in with like maybe a scraping index finger. You can also just strum it however you want. Get out a little tech tech. four chords over and over again. All right, I will have some kind of tab for what it's worth available on my Patreon. Um, the link will be in the description and let me know if you have any questions or comments and thank you for watching.